Hello students, hope you all got an idea about the constraints while creating a table. So the different types of constraints we have already discussed it. Today we are going to study about constraint violations. When you are creating a table, uh, you are giving the constraints, you are embedding those constraints along with the columns or at table level and while inserting or doing some manipulations what all are the violations we have to face so let's move with the company database example so this is the relational schema of the company database which is having six relations employee department department locations project works on dependent here in the first relation employee it is having a primary key which is the ssn and two foreign keys here one is super ssn which is referred from the same table itself and also another foreign key d number which is referred from another relation or table that is the department table so in last class we have already discussed about the foreign key or referential integrity okay here the employee table which is having two foreign keys one is the super ssn and d number here d number is referred from the department table so we can call this department table as the master table and the employee table is called as the detail table and likewise these all relations are having a set of primary keys which all are the underlined attribute names and uh, these arrow marks shows the foreign key attributes. Next is the relational states or the attribute values are filled in these all relations, these six relations. So, let's start with the constraint violations. So, when you are uh, facing these constraint violations, basically on those manipulation operations, we have seen in module 2 that while you are inserting or deleting or updating there will be a chance of constraint violation. So first we can um, see an example in insert operation. Insert operation means you are listing out the attribute values for a new tuple that is to be inserted into a relation or a table. So there is a chance of key constraint violation. What do you mean by a key constraint? Key constraint means it is the unique value for an attribute. In a particular tuple, you are uh, focusing a key constraint means it should have a unique value. So it can be violated if a key value in the new tuple T already exists in another tuple in the table. Entity integrity can be violated if the primary key of the new tuple T is null. That means primary key means it cannot be left null and this should be a unique value. And referential integrity can be violated if the value of any foreign key in tuple T refers to a tuple that does not exist in the referenced relation. That means you can refer only those values in the master table. So let's see an example. Here, here we are inserting a particular tuple into the employee table. See this, it is having an SSN field. This is the SSN field which is kept null here. You are trying to enter a null value in the place of SSN. See here, SSN. So SSN is the primary key here. That means it's a key constraint also. So you cannot left it null or it cannot be a duplicate value which is already existing if such an insertion is um, doing there that means it is violating this key constraint see next is you are inserting another tuple here the ssn is having a value that is already exist in the in another tuple of that particular relation so this ssn value already exists so it can be rejected and insert into employee values here we are trying to enter a d number 
as 7. D number in the employee table, DNO, DNO in employee table is uh, a foreign key that is already discussed. And D number is an attribute which is in the department table. So let's see it with the database. So here department number, sorry, D number in department table is having three values only 5, 4 and 1 of which here this is the foreign key in employee relation. It can use only those values in the primary key of this department or this D number is referring those values of this attribute D number in the department. So you cannot enter a value which is not in this list. So when you are trying to enter a value 7 means it is against the foreign key constraint. So we are trying to violate that particular constraint. That is the case here. So if an insertion violates one or more constraints, the default option is to reject the insertion. That is the first case. But insertion can cascade back to the employee relation if the user attempts to insert a tuple for department 7 with a value for manager SSN that does not exist in the employee table. That means you have to first update the department table with the 7. Then it can be cascaded in the employee relation. That is in the case of insert operation. So there is um, no uh, a serious issue in the case of insertion operation. But in the case of delete and update, there is a chance of referential integrity violation. See, delete operation can violate only referential integrity. That means you are trying to delete it. Okay. If a primary key um, um, tuple is deleted, means you are deleting a particular tuple. So no constraint, integrity, integrity constraint violation in the case of delete operation. So delete operation, we are trying to violate referential integrity. So to specify deletion, you need a condition here. So this is the SQL command, delete from employee where SSN is equal to so and so. So this deletion is not acceptable because tuples in works on relation is referring this value from the employee table. That means in the works on table, this SSN attribute here in works on is a foreign key which is referred from employee table. See here. Here, this is the works on table. So here, there is a ESSN. Okay. So here, there are two tuples which is using this value triple nine eight double seven. So double seven double seven. So that is the referred from this employee SSN. So when you are trying to delete this tuple, it is against the foreign key constraint. Okay, so it cannot be do there. So there are three options here for violating uh, this constraint. First one is to reject that deletion operation. That is the simple case. Another case is to attempt to cascade or propagate the deletion by deleting tuples that reference the tuple that is being deleted. That means when you are trying to delete a particular tuple in the master table, that should be cascaded in the detail table also. Okay, so we can use a cascade option for that. Another option is uh, to modify the referencing attribute values. That means if you are trying to delete a particular tuple in the master table, you can either set to null or set to some default valid value um, uh, in the detail table. So let's see an example here. Create table department, department table in which D name is a column or an attribute which is set to not null constraint. 
Dinapur is another column which is again set to dot null. This is this can be integer or number. Okay. Uh, MGR SSN that is a manager SSN manager start date. So these are the four attributes in the department table of which you are again giving some constraints at table level. First one is primary key. Primary key inside the bracket you can give what all are the primary keys you are setting here. Here it is the D name. Another one is unique constraint that is again D name. Okay. Sorry, primary key it is D number, unique it is D name. The next is foreign key, which is a foreign key here, manager SSL. Okay, that is referred from EMP. On delete, set a default value and on update, cascade. Okay, on delete, that means if you are trying to delete the manager the ssn in the employee table you can put some default value here in the place of manager ssn and also if you are updating that that should be affected here in this table okay that is in the case of employee table here See, e name, word date, D number, super SSN. These are the various attributes here. So there is a primary key which is the ESSN, foreign key which is the D number that is referred from department. On delete, set a default value and on update, cascade it. Okay, that means. If you are trying to delete the department number from the department table, okay, then it can be set to some default value. It is here default value as 1. So, in the table, when you are trying to delete that particular uh, department number C54 or 1, so here it the in the place of department number it will be set as a default value one which is given in the at the time of table creation but if you are updating that d number it will be affected in this d number if you are telling like uh, update table um, what is a department which is having uh, department number five can be changed to seven then here all those relation um, uh, tuples which is having department number 5 is changed to 7 since you have changed it in the master table. Next is a foreign key super SSN references EMP on delete set null on update cascade. Okay the super SSN is here in the in this table itself okay on delete you can make it as a null value and on update it can be affected on it hope you all understand this please go through this and uh, another session i will update here